and this is going to be a tough one now because um, I, I really can't uh, participate in this one as much as I would like to. Um, but we've got a really uh, interesting question coming in from David Keane. Um, and it's regarding probably one of the famous, most famous crowd of um, characters out in the, the Juma area at the moment. Um, I've been hearing about them for many years. Well, not in the last two, three years. I've never had the opportunity to actually see them uh, in face-to-face. -face. Um, did have an experience with them about uh, two weeks uh, or yeah, about two weeks ago. But um, yeah, a crowd of uh, lads that um, have been known as the <coughs> Mopohos. Um, uh, it's a coalition of five or six. Yeah, five typically the way we see them. Six yeah, in total, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, well, she knows quite a lot about them as well. Mm. He's done lots of reading and writing about them. The question that came in, um, <laughs> which is uh, quite a, uh, yeah, it's quite an interesting question, is um, what are the chances? I mean, being such a strong coalition um, of five males, which is such a unique thing, um, what are the chances of actually a bigger coalition being formed? and actually pushing out uh, the Mapujos. Jan? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice to see? <laughs> <laughs> that would be quite a story unfolding. Um, okay, well, I, I really don't have the, the knowledge backing or to, to really answer that question, but I, I would think that we know that some of the males or some, some of the individuals actually in, that, uh, in the Mapujos are a little bit older. And then Mr. Mr. T is getting loosing, uh, loosing his mane losing his mane quite a lot now and uh, but I would suppose, I don't know what you guys think, that first of all I think before that's going to happen this Mpoko male um, coalition is probably going to not deteriorate but one of them is going to, maybe two of them is going to die out or just get discarded um, eventually and then I don't know f five, six lines more or f let's say seven other lines are, are taking that, 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 I don't know, I don't know if that's going to happen, I think before yeah. that's going to happen um, we don't know of any other coalitions that's that big now, but uh, I think before that's going to happen, um, I think one of the Mopokos or maybe two of them will either um, go in their uh, separate ways or one of them or two of them might die and then there's obviously the chance of another five male um, lions attacking them and taking their uh, yeah. stride over, if I can say it that way. Yeah, it is such a unique thing just to see it's such a big coalition already, so to try and imagine a bigger coalition coming in would be even more unique. However. I think uh, one thing we can always say is that uh, just when you think you know everything about nature, that's really one big curveball. So I'd never say impossible, but um, sure, yeah, that would be quite quite a scene to see. Um, but um, they seem to be holding strong at the moment, and um, they've had a very, very interesting history. And uh, the word of the Mapokos throughout uh, uh, the guides and rangers out in this area uh, spreads like wildfire, and... Um, yeah, it's uh, exhilarating to actually see them, to be that close to such a strong coalition of males and just feel that power. Um, we've had a few experiences that actually, Peter, um, you you found them a few weeks ago with Alex on that buffalo carcass. Yeah, you made a very good point on pointing out how intense that stare is while they were staring directly into the lens almost and it just goes straight through you. It is just unbelievable. Yeah, no, they're certainly special lions, eh? Um, I mean, again, that's the kind of question we can sit about and, and, and might even do after we say goodnight and talk about it more. But um, I think Jan's point was very good. In other words, before anything happens, just, just first of all, I think the chance of a bigger coalition forming is, is not that much, just purely because the chance of five male coalition is, is quite limited already. Um, but Jan's point was valid. I think before anything really happens, there'll have to be a weakening within the ranks of the Mopokos first, either by one or two of them... Uh, getting old which is possible but you know that's that's four or five years away um, but more likely one or two of them the male that's often by himself gets mm. caught by two or three other lions you know, obviously then by himself he might be in trouble or a snake bite or a buffalo you know they caught a big buffalo the other day and certainly they're strong lions but uh, a buffalo is still a buffalo so um, you know that could happen there's a variety of things that could weaken the coalition and, and then maybe leave a gap but more likely then it, it won't be a case of them getting displaced. Again, keep in mind that these males have got such a vast territory now that they've got multiple prides. So if the coalition got weakened, it's more likely that they'll get pushed off maybe from one area. Uh, mm. Maybe lose one of the males in the process or something. But I think for them to just get displaced out of the area that they're dominating now, which is very large, uh, would have to be unique circumstances beyond what we can, what we can almost imagine. 
Um, just the interest sake I've mentioned before, but um, a good friend of mine, Dr. John Grinnell, who researched lions for a long time, he, the largest coalition he ever studied in East Africa was seven males. They took over three territories combined as a coalition. And then um, after they're done, so they split into groups of in, in, into three coalitions, basically, of, of three, two, and two. And then spend the rest of the years in those groups with the pride. So, so there's quite a few varieties when you start dealing with these large numbers. Um, also out of interest sake is that lions, can, they can distinguish when they listen to roaring up to five males. So if the mapuchos are all roaring and there's another male lying somewhere in the bush some distance away, he would know there's five lions roaring. Anything more than that, they don't really have the ability to count, if that makes any sense. Most likely because it's almost never uh, the case, unless obviously you have the females roaring and so on. So there's a lot of potential stories to hypothesize about and talk about and I'm sure we will still work through lots of them over the next while. But I think to answer the, the, the premise of that question is that most likely the Mapokos will be around for quite a few years. Um, I would say four or five years at least. Um, one, maybe two generations of cubs um, without having too much hassles. But then again, you know, tomorrow a big herd of buffalo decide they've had enough of the Mapokos and then 500 buffalo take on five lions and, you know, Numbers do count in the end. There's a lot of action happening out there in the bush, and you just never know what's going to, what's going to, how it's going to turn out. No. Well, um.